the Biliran Province State University is the premier and only institution of higher learning in the province of Biliran. It is a result of the elevation and conversion of the Naval State University, formerly Naval Institute of Technology, pursuant to Republic Act No. 11170. The said legislative bill is the fruit of the collective efforts, and tariff prayers and noble dreams long for the academic community and the Bilirans. The Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management Program of Biliran Province State University is developed and offered as a response to the economic breakthrough of the province, Region 8, and of the entire country. Tourism being one of the major industries that supports Philippines' economic development and stability. The university is situated in the island province of Biliran, one of the youngest and smallest province of the country yet considered as a tourism resource with great potential in impacting the lives of its people. The province is dubbed as the undiscovered paradise. It offers a variety of tourist attractions from its rolling high mountains to its shorelines, rich history, culture, and warm people. With this, offering of an academic program that would prepare future professionals, leaders, and tourism advocates is found vital and instrumental to the success of forging tourism development in the province. The Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management Program of Bilir Province State University is duly approved and given authority through NSU Board Resolution No. 50, Series of 2010, and duly revised through Bitsu Board Resolution No. 12-R, Series of 2018. In November 4, 2022, the Certificate of Program Compliance for the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management was awarded by the Commission in Higher Education based on the validation conducted by the ARQUA team. The Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management of Bilirin Province State University has successfully complied with all the minimum requirements as set forth under Chad Memorandum Order CMO No. 62 Series of 2017. The Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management curriculum is duly noted by the Commission on Higher Education and substantially complied with the minimum courses and units required per CMO No. 62 Series of 2017. The objectives of the program were developed with reflection to and is anchored in the vision and mission of the university at the same time with the institutional outcomes together with the goals of the academic unit and the program outcome. Here are the objectives of the BSTM program. Generate knowledge, technology, and innovation as outputs of hospitality and tourism research endeavors. Produce research outputs and projects related to hospitality and tourism management addressing problems of the industry. Adopt value-oriented hospitality and tourism practices, management skills, and positive attitudes for personal and career growth through lifelong learning and self-driven learning. Articulate holistic and dynamic leadership towards employment, entrepreneurial paths, and civic works fulfilling the demands of the industry. Because of the commitment of the students, faculty, and administration, together with other stakeholders, Program Objective 1, Generate Knowledge, Technology, and Innovation as Inputs of Hospitality and Tourism Research Endeavors, and Program Objective 2, Reduce Research Outputs and Projects Related to Hospitality and Tourism Management Addressing the Problems of the Industry were achieved by conducting, attending, and participating research capability trainings, seminars, and workshops. Participation in concept hearing and proposal presentations, completion of research works, local, national, and international research presentations, research publications, patenting, and commercialization. The Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management graduates adaptive value-oriented hospitality and tourism practices, management skills and positive attitudes for personal and career growth through lifelong learnings and self-driven learning. They articulate holistic and dynamic leadership towards employment, 
entrepreneurial paths and civic words fulfilling the demands of the industry, this has been instrumental in the achievement of Objective 3 and Objective 4. Over the past years, Bitsu has produced tourism professionals who are contributory to the tourism industry and nation's growth and development. They have given pride to their alma mater and continue to soar high in their chosen careers and fields of expertise. Here are some of the numerous alumni of the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management who continuously manifesting the achievement of Objective 3 and 4 of the program. Hello everyone, Mabuhay! I am Skelly Ivy Florida, a Tourism Management graduate of Bipsu School of Management and Entrepreneurship, Class of 2020. I am currently working in Qatar Airways as a cabin crew. The BSTM program helped me in so many ways. It enriched myself about the beauty of the tourism industry and it also boosted my morale and harnessed me to achieve so many things, including being a finalist of the inaugural Miss Universe Philippines pageant. I am forever grateful for the BSTM program and the instructors for giving me so much um, enlightenment, for fully developing my skills and bringing out the best in me. From Doha, Qatar, Wow Bipsu! The significant and varied activities and projects conducted, attended, and participated by students, faculty, administrators, and other stakeholders have contributed in the achievements of the well-defined objectives. Here are the adequate and relevant projects of the BSTM program, research activities and projects, research dissemination, intellectual property protection, and commercialization. Through the different programs mentioned above, the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management faculty and students were able to embody the culture of research and continuously attain the well-defined objectives of the program. The preceding table shows the research accomplishments and engagements of the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management faculty and students. Taking into account the different competencies and skills of the BSTM students, should develop in their course of study and the attainment of outcomes and objectives. The university ensures that instructional processes provide learning opportunities for the BSTM students using varied strategies, methodologies, and techniques. Series of institutional training and composing a learner-centered course syllabus were conducted to ensure that the instructional processes, methodology, and learning opportunity that are planned, established, implemented to meet the requirements and standards of an outcome-based curriculum as mandated by CHED. The WOWBIPSO Learning Continuity Plan is the blueprint of the university in establishing a clear groundwork in delivering higher education in the new normal setup without compromising its quality. With the collaborative efforts among its stakeholders, through a series of planning and consultations, the LCP was conceived to fully address the learning gap and learning anxiety of every Bipsonista. The LCP provided direction for the journey in the new normal education and bring Bipsu closer to the community. BSTM faculty actively participated in the Eastern Visayas Higher Education Institutions Flexible Learning Management System Consortium, or EVHI's FLNSC, series of trainings and workshops. EVHI's FLNSC is a region-wide collaboration among HIs in the Eastern Visayas, spearheaded by Bulirim Province State University as the lead proponent. In line with the learning continuity plan of the university and response amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the university through its management information system office has designed an institutional learning management system dubbed as Wabipsu LMS. The Wabipsu LMS is powered by Moodle, a free open space LMS to effectively implement flexible learning instruction in the so-called new normal in education. This is the main platform used by the BSTM faculty members in the delivery of instruction. Moreover, teachers are also using other platforms such as Google Classrooms, Edmodo, Gmail, 
Facebook Messenger, and private Facebook group to promote and provide flexibility. The University, in cooperation with the various local government units of the province of Beliran, has established Learning Kiosk. The LGU Academic Link or Learning Kiosk serves as a venue for the students of Beliran Province State University and other state universities and colleges in Eastern Visayas. July 2021, in the midst of the pandemic and to continuously realize its objectives, the students and faculty of the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management program concluded the second semester of school year 2020-2021 with a three-day online culminating activity entitled Pakaritai. The activity gave avenue for the students to demonstrate their learning with their either product, performance, or presentation, which also provided teachers the opportunity to assess the learning preferences of their students. In August 2021, 15 faculty members and 18 students from the different schools and departments of Lear Province State University participated in the 5th International Social Business Summer Program, or ISBSP, in partnership with the Daffodil International University in Bangladesh. BIPSA delegates were among the 135 participants from 37 universities of 21 countries across Asia, Europe, Africa, North and South America joining the virtual ISBSP 2021 with its motto, New Minds for New World. Among the student delegates include Judy M. Saflad, Jose Lorenzo Tuano, and Darwin Cabatas. On the other hand, faculty participants consist of Alexander Rex Sanyosa and Vic Marie Bernelio. In December 2021, Bulirin Province State University was the first university in Region 8 to conduct limited face-to-face -face classes. Compliance of BIPSU to the requirements of CHED, DOH, IETF, support for the gradual reopening such as management and oversight, institutional policies and protocols, controls, and continuity plans. In December 2021, Department of Interior and Local Government, or DILG, Belirian Province conferred the safety seal to the Belirian Province State University relative to its gradual opening of classes. Bipsu is the first state university and college, or SUC, to be awarded the safety seal. Since the gradual reopening of classes, both students and faculty enjoyed the academic and non-academic activities. Through to its mantra of no one is left behind, Bipsu ensures the learning experience of students are inclusive and holistic. Along with the successful implementation of the gradual reopening of face-to-face -face classes, the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management readily and positively participated the Phase 2 of implementation of face-to-face -face classes on January 2022, based on the approved cyclical class schedule, keeping on track to the continuous achievement of its well-defined objectives. Various seminars and workshops were conducted to enrich and in support the classroom instruction ensuring that teaching strategies stimulate the development of students' critical thinking, analytical thinking, creative thinking, and problem solving. Dancing to the rhythm of the drums and lively music in brightly colored costumes under the beaming Wednesday sun of July 20, 2022, the Bachelor of Science and Tourism Management students took to the streets with a grand parade around Naval Town as it officially kicks off its 3 day SMA Fiesta celebration. Different face-to-face -face skills competition were part of the celebration. To manifest that the BSDM curriculum integrates values reflective to national custom, culture, and tradition, students participated in folk dance and dance evolution competitions, poster making contests, radio drama and broadcasting, extemporaneous speaking, spoken poetry, vocal solo and duet, and Mr. and Miss SME pageant. The activity also encourages and supports assessment for multiple intelligence tests. Gender equality as fundamental value is reflected in the programs, projects, and activities of the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. Together with the Gender and Development Office, the BSTM program organizes efforts that would bring gender perspective in university's goals, policies, structures, processes, programs, and projects. To fully provide a mechanism for catalyzing and accelerating gender mainstreaming in the university towards the promotion of gender equality and equity different gender mainstreaming in the curriculum were implemented. Curriculum Revision 
The NSU PMS INS 12 describes the necessary steps in developing and planning the curriculum in conformance to CHAD Memorandum Order 20 Series of 2013, CHAD Memorandum Order No. 62 Series of 2017, Clause 8.3 Design and Development of Products and Services of ISO 9001-2015 Quality Management System or QMS. The BSTM curriculum was reviewed, revised, or changed due to regulatory and statutory requirements. The CHED Memorandum Order No. 62 Series of 2017, other requirements were also taken into consideration such as educational trends, stakeholders' feedback, and other circumstances that necessitate for the curriculum development and planning. In November 4, 2022, the Certificate of Program Compliance of for the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management was awarded by the Commission on Higher Education. The Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management of the Belirian Province State University has successfully complied with all the minimum requirements as set forth under CHED Memorandum Order CMO No. 62 Series of 2017. The BIPSA Quality Management System Policy Manual serves as the primary reference of BIPSU in defining, describing, implementing, managing, and evaluating its programs, projects, activities, products, and services. It also articulates mechanism for its continual improvement, enduring the conformity of the standards for clients in stakeholder satisfaction and in improving its branding and reputation. The adoption of the BIPSU Quality Management System Policy Manual ensures consistency of products and services through quality services. Earning ISO certification entails meeting international standards and accreditation. Moreover, it also develops the culture of quality and integrity in governance. Earning the ISO 9001-2015 certification is a testament of that BITSU has systematic and effective procedures. In order to provide quality education, the Belayan Province State University received funding allotment for the government pursuant to the General Appropriation Act. The funding of the GAA is the main backbone of the institution to operate its annual programs, projects, and activities especially in personal services, maintenance, and other operating expense and capital outlays. The university allocates and utilizes funds subject to existing auditing norms and regulations through activities organized by the different offices, units, departments, and schools. Over the last five years, as shown in the figure one below, the university acknowledged the increasing funding allotment in all three operating components. In fiscal 2022, in terms of MOOE, BIPSU leaps 226.83% increase as provision to finance its programs, projects and activities in all major key functions and supporting operations. The MAC Travel Agency where students do application of their travel agency operation skills such as counter selling and ticketing. The BIPSA Tour Coaster This vehicle is being used for practical activities and authentic assessment of the students of the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management Interguiding Course. Computer Laboratory where students do their hands-on and practical activities on the BIPSA license computer reservation system. This facility is equipped with internet connection to fully utilize the feature of the CRS. As support to the faculty in their instruction, the administration provided laptops and an ergonomic chair. The laptop changed the classroom circumstance, making it easier for teachers to engage students in substantive, collaborative, and project-based work. It also enables teachers in their virtual classes. The ergonomic chair gave comfort to the faculty while they are in their respective posts and offices. Free access to premium accounts of educational applications or software, such as Zoom and Grammarly. The university through Institutional Planning Office provided premium accounts of Zoom and Grammarly application to faculty members with a total allotment of 161,640 and 117,000 pesos respectively. The provision of a premium Zoom account enabled BSTM faculty members and students to conduct synchronous online classes and online activities. 
institutional emails to faculty members to enable them to have a premium access to Google application. The University for the Management Information System Office provide institutional emails to faculty members and students. The provision of institutional emails enables students and faculty members to have a premium access to Google application, awards of distinction and achievements, and grants of the program. CHED Program Compliance CHED Noted Curriculum ISO 9001-2015 Certified World University Rankings and Reviews QE Stars Rating Systems of the Pac Parel Assignments World Universities with Real Impact Prime Iter in Maturity Level 2 Performance-Based Bonus Grantee for 2019, 2020, and 2021 2021 Gawad Parangal Chidro 8 Awardee Top 200 Most Popular Universities National Search for Most Eco-Friendly Schools Awards CHED Awards Awards received by faculty and students Best Practices The BS in Tourism Management is CHED Program Compliant The BS in Tourism Management Curriculum is duly noted by CHED ISO 9001-2015 Certification 100% Submission and Adoption of OBE or Learner-Centered Course Syllabus Availability and Use of Curriculum Map Availability of Compidium of Course Outcomes Implementation of the 4-Day Classes Wild Bipsu LMS Online and Offline Student Information and Accounting System, or CS, Flexible Learning Implementation, Procurement of Licensed Software, Kamustahan Series, Installation of Learning Kiosks in Different Municipalities. BIPSU is a member of the Philippine Futures Thinking Organization and the lead institution of the Pangandoy Sahiraya, the Futures Thinking Consortium of HEI in EV.